So guys, welcome back to the channel. Slightly different today, something I've always wanted to do. Um, I'm here in one of my friend's fields. Dave, the farmer there, is doing um, a bit of cutting for hay. And um, it's an absolutely magical time to see wildlife. Um, with buzzards, foxes, other bird species, birds of prey that feed on carrion and things like that. There's swift swallows overhead, insects coming up, um, anything that gets unfortunately mashed up in the, in the head on the uh, tractor, then gets thrown out on the ground. Bird species come in, pick it up, off they go. Really important time at the moment for breeding birds, especially buzzards now have got young and they're probably getting quite close to fledging. So the need for food and the consumption of food is obviously an awful lot more. And also here, there's a lot of foxes and things as well. So it's a really good time. And the good thing about it is trying to get to a buzzard, you know, close to a buzzard, it's quite difficult, or any mammal, wildlife subject. But you get a tractor in a field cutting, and you're standing there with your camera, they're all around, and they come real close. So if you know any farmers that do any cutting, um, you know, it's a really good opportunity then to get some close views and some action shots of bird species. We've had kites over recently. I've got at least five or six buzzards here. Swallows hawking all over the shop here. Really, really good. And the good thing about it is, although some things will unfortunately get caught up when they're being when it's being cut but none of that will go to waste so nature will take advantage of it and nothing will go to waste so uh, yeah I'm going to uh, go to the next field now Dave's just had a bit of a problem with the uh, the cutting part of the machines but it's jammed I think so I'm going to head off and through the next field and see if we can uh, get in a position and hopefully be able to shoot um, from a quite elevated position there's a buzzer just there now and they're completely not bothered about me. They're absolutely just focused on food. And um, yeah, hopefully, and he says we get to see foxes as well. Foxes come out here um, and, you know, they forage and feed as well. So fingers crossed we'll get to see some foxes. So I'm here now in the, uh, the next field that Dave's just about to cut and it's quite a slope. You can see up high there, but uh, there's swallows and all sorts hawking all over here. And this feed will then go to um, a lot of his cattle over winter. So uh, yeah, hopefully we might get a, uh, a fox or two coming out in daylight, which would be fantastic, but we'll just have to wait and see. Dave's just swinging around for another, another sweep along the bottom there. And we've had loads and loads of swifts in, house martins, swallows. And what he's doing as well, if you can see here, around the field edges, field margins, he's then leaving that long. So a lot of the hunting owl species, birds of prey, etc., can still then hunt quite comfortably with long grass. Well, a lot of the mammal species, obviously things like field vole, etc., will then feed in the long grass from the hedges so it doesn't destroy the population necessarily straight away. So he's being quite responsible with his, the way he's doing things. And he's, like in the other field, he only actually cut half the field and left the other half. So farmers doing things like that is absolutely key for the survival of many um, bird and mammal species. So, um, you know, take my hat off to Dave there for doing that, leaving those areas long for wildlife to thrive in. So I've just moved location now to uh, another field here and what a backdrop, that is just amazing. Um, that's like Luba Beach um, and this is Low Pool here and a uh, yeah, fantastic location. Hopefully we've now got a couple of ravens in and hopefully we'll get a few more buzzards in as well, a bit, bit more action. Um, 
But uh, yeah, a lot of bird activity in here. So I'm, I'm thinking this field's going to have a little bit more going on as the last field was a bit quiet. Um, although I did get some nice diving shots of a buzzard and a very close up of a buzzard literally taking prey from probably about 20 foot from my location. So yeah, fantastic. Sweltering hot, but uh, great to be here. And uh, let's hope we get some decent images. It'll be well. So currently hitched a ride in uh, Dave's tractor. See if we can get some close up shots of uh, buzzard. Just had a few land on the uh, on the ground, just taking prey, and uh, a good way to get close to get close to them really, and see them moving around and doing their thing. Really, it's uh, unfortunately got a couple shots, but they're a little bit elusive still. So hopefully, one will turn up in a moment, and we'll uh, get a decent shot. Even speaking in front of a camera when you're vlogging yourself and it's um, just yourself, you know. It, yeah. yeah, it's kind of. But then if you've got someone next to you and you're talking, you've put you off your stride a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of find... So, guys, quite a long day there. Um, just going to finish up there now. It's been about five and a half hours today. Uh, it's been great and icing on the cake at the end there was um, I was just in the tractor coming around for the last sweep of the field and I saw a bird of prey which wasn't a buzzard on the post thought maybe peregrine to start off with and uh, came past opened the tractor door shot a few pictures outside the door and um, it was a sparrowhawk and I got the sparrowhawk hopefully in focus ish uh, and I got a couple uh, flight shots as well with it taking off so uh, but it's been really good a unique perspective really you know being close proximity to birds of prey that I ordinarily wouldn't get because I was in a field when it was being cut for hay um, in the cab of the tractor as well so a unique view there again very difficult to to train on a subject even with the door open because the cab moves around a lot and he didn't stop because he has to keep going because he's cutting so really difficult but to be honest, most of the time the camera was on my lap and I was just watching buzzards 10, 15 foot away from the uh, tractor, just picking up voles and things. It was fantastic. So uh, yeah, a vlog with a difference today, but uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm gonna head home now, have a look at the images and have a brew. So here we are guys back in the fields. Um, Dave had a further nine fields I think to do before the end of the day and he had to get them done today. Um, so I've just been back, walked the dogs, refreshed the batteries, downloaded the images from the, this morning and this afternoon and uh, going to spend the evening here now hoping for possibly fox, um, maybe some deer as well coming out and there's a barn owl as well in the barn just down the way. So going to try my luck, see what happens. Um, got straight into some buzzards as soon as I got in nice and close and they've just headed off over the back for a minute so I'm going to sit here in the field margin sit tight and uh, hope for the best Buzzard. Oh, look at that there, just landed beautifully in the tree. I bet no one's done a vlog 
from a tractor. <laughs> so I've been finding the um, being in the tractor is awesome, um, but it bounces around a lot, and I don't want to hinder Dave um, and his progress of getting the fields done. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to once he's done a few circuits in the in the tractor and cleared a path, I'm going to follow him in the landy and hopefully set up and then stop and then get some shots of the buzzards as they go around. Um, see, you know, buzzards, wildlife don't mind vehicles too much. As soon as you get out, boom, they're off. And what we're finding with the tractor, as soon as I open the door to take a picture, the buzzards then flush away. And what we don't want to do is they're getting nice, easy meal here. They got young and what I don't want is hinder that. So, um, and get in the way of Dave as well, slowing them up a little bit. So I'm going to follow around in the landy, try that and, um, see what will happen hopefully we'll be successful so here I am um, good to go Dave's doing the circuit and um, let's hope we get some buzzard close encounters um, so I've got the Sun behind me still got the 100 to 500 on because the lights still pretty good and I've got the 500 in the back which I'll probably switch to as the light starts to fail a little bit but I'm hoping maybe we'll get some mammal activity later um, and maybe a barn owl um, if we're lucky but uh, sit and enjoy on a nice evening um, different style of photography never really done this before followed a tractor around but i think you know the wildlife's here um dave's working hard there yeah good to take it all in and uh, see how we get on so at the moment there's at least two pairs of buzzards here and they've obviously got their own territories and uh, what they're doing is obviously maybe one's um, encroaching on the other's territory at the minute so there is a little bit of a territorial dispute going on at the moment so uh, there's a bit of interaction there over the food um, but I would say there's probably enough to go around um, but it's nice to see a bit of behaviour <laughs> So the um, buzzards are going a bit quiet at the minute. There is one buzzard that was on something quite large, a bit of prey on the, on the ground there. And it's just tucked up behind a tree, just keeping his eye on me. I've driven over the field towards it uh, and it, I got relatively close and it then decided to, um, to move back up into the tree. So I'm hoping it's going to come back down. Um, Dave the farmer's gone up into another field now so I'll probably head up there in a minute but yeah there's still a few birds around a bit of a stalemate this buzzard's just eyeballing me uh, from the tree I can hear other birds mewing but it's just I think it's got some food down there that does not want to let go and I think it kind of covered it over and it's got its eye on it it's going to wait a little bit longer to see if it Builds up a bit of courage and then. I think something just landed behind me then. I saw something behind me land. I'm hoping it's going to pluck up a little bit of courage and then come in and pick up the uh, bit of food, wherever it is. If not, I'll back off and then leave it, um, come in and pick it up. No guarantees, mind. You have to 
excuse the steering wheel in the way of a GoPro, but I've got a buzzard at the moment. It's just caught a slow worm. And I've had the most amazing, oh, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. Um, it's tolerated me. I'm really close. And it's lovely. It just checks me out. I start the vehicle manoeuvre. It seems to be quite happy. I'm not pushing forward. I'm just going as in closer. I'm going more just up and back. But it's hunting from the hedge line on top of a tree and it's just hopping down, feeding. She has gulped down a massive slow worm. Incredible. So Dave's working that way. Um, and this guy's just enjoying it up this end. I've got a lovely sky coming in here. I want to try and get a shot if I can go up towards the hedge line. Shoot down towards the light and see if I can get a nice a nice silhouette shot at the moment you can see here. There goes the buzzard. Look. Off it goes. Can you see that? Fantastic. What a time with that buzzard. Awesome. So guys, I'm going to call that a day now. Um, it's been a fantastic day. Um, you know, I've had endless amounts of encounters with buzzards. I've had sparrowhawks, I've seen kestrels. Um, I finished off with those roe deer down in the valley there. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. You know, it's been brilliant to be here, being filming in the back of the tractor, um, a few bits of GoPro in the tractor, you know, bit of driving around the landy, bit of static stuff, bit of in the hedges, just something a bit different. I mean. A vlog from a tractor, from a farmer ploughing his fields. I'm not sure if that's actually been done yet, but I'll tell you what, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You've got to take these opportunities while you can. And to get close encounters with birds of prey like that, which you wouldn't ordinarily get because of that distance to subject relationship that we have with wildlife. Um, they're used to the tractors. They're habituated to their um, comings and goings in the field. Um, but being so close to them, watching them hunt, um, was fantastic. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that guys. That's all from me tonight. Uh, I'll see you all next time.